guys so first of all if you're wondering why I deleted my old videos where I drove the Scania G450 with that huge um, like beer trailer it's because well uh, first of all um, the trailer that, that I was driving had the same decals as the one um, in the terror accident or attack so I don't really want to like remind all the victims of, of that and uh, I believe even the company has now removed those decals just because of that not to remind everyone about that horrible attack so it like deleted all the monetization so I wasn't gonna earn any money on the video anyways so because of those two reasons um, I uh, deleted the I, right now I've with one of the videos one of them is still up but I'm probably gonna delete the other one as well and right now I'm driving this really nice um, Volvo, I don't know what year model or anything like this, but it's exactly like the brand new Volvo FH series, you know, the tall trucks. But this one is the like city truck FM series, so it's 3.2 meters high, you can go in garages. And you got this brand new Volvo interior here with the brand new uh, in incredibly light steering, which you can turn with your little finger if you want to and it's so fresh and comfy I love being in this truck driving it it's a real luxury Circulations here, which are coming up. It's a very odd looking trailer It's uh, not like the normal tra trailer you would see And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna record my reversing But this trailer is kind of like driving a semi-trailer truck, you know, where you have a, a dragger truck which drags the semi-trailer it's kind of the same except the drag truck is a lot longer here, like it has a uh, I don't know the word in English. It has a flock like a carriage on the truck as well. So here's the first circulation you'll be able to see the trailer I think. I also have it in the thumbnail. There you go. Um, man this steering is so light it's kind of dangerous when you're not used to it you will kind of uh, it's like so sensitive you kind of steer too much maybe sometimes Horsepower test, I think maybe 330. 
not sure. Oh wait, it's actually a 410, yeah. Okay, it seems I can see it now from here. It's a 410 horsepower Volvo FM 410, I don't know. What year model? It's it's only gone 20,000 kilometers, so I guess it's 2016 year model. So I guess I'll put that in the title. trailer right there which we drove by but that's that's the longest freaking trailer you'll ever ever see those those GKT um, GKT they called I mean the company that drives those long ass trailers they like the only company that that has those trailers and they're so incredibly long They're like way longer than this trailer that you see here. I haven't installed any surf pad on this truck though, no company. That's bad. I like that surf pad where you can see like my driving stats and Google Maps stuff. Now I know uh, this place, we're going this road, I go to work every day, like going to my neighborhood here. So I know this place. Although, they've heard that they're gonna rebuild this. Holy crap, contact, I just got a warning message, contact the workshop. Uh, saying it now disappeared though. But it said like the rear steering axle is malfunctioning. Holy crap, doesn't sound good. But then the warning disappeared, so I guess it's just some glitch and, uh, somewhere. I don't know, but I've not driven these trucks so many times, but the times I've drove, driven these new Volvos, they always get a bunch of warning messages and shit. It's like they're all broken, or like, have problems like showing false warning messages. I don't know. I like Scania more. These, these Volvo trucks, they feel... They don't feel so solid, you know. They're very comfy, very nice steering, you know. They feel like comfy and fresh and stuff. But the 
scan is just more of a, like a, a real truck, I think, in my opinion. So today uh, I actually finally went to uh, this like uh, stomach uh, center or whatever it's called where it's a specialist stomach specialist and I went to talk to them and uh, they say that they're gonna do some examinations uh, on me or uh, whatever you say like look inside of my stomach and stuff hopefully they'll find something or hopefully not I don't know I just want to get healthy I have so much stomach problems it's crazy slept very bad so I'm extremely tired right now and not a good combination with truck driving. I don't know but sometimes when I sleep I kind of like wake up all the freaking time. I hate it. I wake up and it, it feels like the clock should have been ringing. I don't know if it's my dreams. I can hear it ringing and then I wake up and I check the clock and it's still like two hours left. And then I go back to sleep and I wake up again and it's one hour left. So tonight I kind of woke up like at least six times and then go back to sleep again. So I feel really exhausted. So luckily I have this nice truck at least. Trip computer, we can see here. Fuel consumption is four liters every 10 kilometers. That's uh, a bit much. But if this were an old Volvo, you know, those from like 2006, I bet the fuel consumption would be like around five liters every 10 kilometers. Yeah. So that's a major difference. That's like uh, maybe ten thousand dollars a year that you save at least in fuel just buying these new trucks. And that's the average like fuel consumptions uh, in the truck, like from all the drivers. If I would reset it now and just drive, it, look how it. For me, I bet it would go down for, for around three liters every ten kilometers. That's usually what I'm, where I'm at. I actually, I am actually, I think the best driver in my, like sort of, not this company that I'm driving for, but the company that hired me in, I'm the best eco driver uh, in the static, in the vehicle computer with the surf pad, you know. So that's, that's nice. You should not focus too much on eco-driving, but, you know, it's, it's, I think it's fun uh, and it feels good uh, to help the environment, I guess. And also you stress a lot less when you don't, when you think about eco-driving, it's relaxing your driving. Kind of. a really important thing in that video I deleted and that is if you guys are new to this job and you're like me you're hiring you drive different trucks all the time or if you just jump into a new truck just you know don't just jump in and drive man just check out all the settings make sure it's good like you really go through it don't stress you know if somebody's stressing you you say relax I gotta I gotta check that everything is good first for safety you know Usually you have like, if you your first time, time at the job, you usually don't drive alone. And uh, maybe you're getting stressed by the guy and, and you want to just jump in and drive, you know, show that you can drive. But really, 
with all these new trucks and technologies and you see the parking brake is a freaking button now you gotta be extremely careful when jumping in a new truck because you're not used to it one thing I've noticed is the brakes on the newer trucks are so sensitive extremely sensitive brakes and that's that's a good thing I think I'd rather have more too sensitive brakes than too bad brakes yeah save you it can save you a lot of crashes but it will probably not save your goods in the back though with two good brakes your goods will be smushed <laughs> unfortunately so be very aware be very careful you guys when jumping in a new truck everything is new everything is not used to it. Maybe you forgot to set the seat correctly and then you do it as you drive and then you have this light steering which you're not used to and then you drive off the road because you look at the seat and you're not used to the steering so you don't feel like the road properly like you used to do. So trust me, I know I've been near, near crashes a lot of times, like uh, not real crashes but I've been close to I've been swirling a bit and I've been I don't know because just because I'm not used to the truck just because it's not my own truck you know I drive different trucks all the time so we're soon arrived at my destination here we're gonna deliver to Tomba it's like straight up ahead actually a really nice uh, viewpoint I think uh, took my girlfriend here and eat once with my motorcycle uh, it's like right about here you have two places I think one pizza place and one like sushi or Japanese place or Thai, Thai food I think it is and it's right here yeah Thai sushi we got this great view so I recommend stopping by here maybe once uh, in the spring where it's when it's uh, green and beautiful. So you got a little lake there as well. why I have such good stats in the eco computer and uh, but yeah but you gotta be careful about it. 
the engine brake, man. Because it's very slow, like, from the moment you see that you, you have to brake and you pull the lever, and then it takes time for it to engage the lower gear and engage the engine brake, so, you know, it takes so long time that oh, something has happened, man. Um, so yeah, during that time it takes, uh, like, uh, you might have to brake earlier, so so what I do, I, I, I usually, like, always use the foot, but uh, if I see that I have time, then I use the engine brake as well as the foot, and then when the engine brakes too much, I release the foot gas, and if the engine brake on its own is too much, I just release the engine brake a little bit as well. What has happened, man? What's going on? Whoa, there's a car in the ditch here. How did that happen, though? Are you serious? No, I can't do... You see, here's a rookie mistake. You see people going off here. I can't go off here because I'm full loaded and the, the, the road might... Holy crap, they crashed! so hard in the ditch there, how the hell did they manage to do that? People can't drive nowadays. And there is more. Holy crap. What is that Audi doing? Holy shit. Crazy, crazy. There's always something happening in my videos, you guys. You better stay tuned. Because <laughs> you never know when something is going to happen. That was pretty exciting, man. We got full of ambulances and police, and then you got a car recently that's gone into the ditch. And all the police and ambulances, they are like driving past them, you know. <laughs> Screw you. You're all in a ditch, we got more important things to do. <laughs> okay, so now we are here after all the commotion. because right now it's Easter and it's holiday day today like a red day Thursday and then tomorrow it's Friday and you got this like sort of this tomorrow is not really a red day but many people take the day off anyways and then you got the uh, Monday is also a red day and I'm gonna work there's another place I can see coming I'm going to work a lot this Easter got stuck so, so easily. They're not moving. I tried to warn them. Man, what's going on? Seriously, why is there so much... What is this? I wanna know. I wanna know now. There's too much police coming. Uh, where's my phone? Where is my phone, man? Oh my god, it's gone! No, my phone is gone! Okay, here I found it. No? Or now it's not my phone. My phone is gone. My phone is gone. I, I just had it, man. I took pictures of the truck. Oh crap! Where is this radio P4 when you need it? I can't... Why is this stupid radio, man? There's volume, here's a... This rocker does what? Freaking retarded radio. There you go. But seriously, where did my phone go? This is not good. 
doesn't need my phone now. What if I dropped it on the ground? Oh, there it is, I found it. Yay. Okay. Good engine brake on this thing, man. Okay, so this is so destination. I'm just gonna check. A car flipped on the highway. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably some sort of traffic accident. Or fire, there were a lot of fire trucks coming as well. I don't know, but there says nothing on the news really. So, sorry guys, I don't know what that was, what all that commotion was about. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. If you know any friends that might like my videos, please, you know, share this video with them. Thanks a lot, and stay safe.